Intel have launched their latest 10th generation of processors and there is a lot to take in. We are seeing brand new 10 nanometer chips. The era of Wi-Fi 6 begins today and Intel Optane Memory H10 with SSDs have arrived and we are seeing some impressive numbers. You'll also hear phrases like Ice Lake and Comet Lake. Now these code names will help you pick the best CPU for what you do. Lastly, Project Athena, Intel's spark underneath the industry to ignite engineering that redefines power, productivity, and entertainment. Engineered for mobile performance, it aims to do that better than ever before. Now the laptop I have here, the HP Spectre X360, has been co-engineered with Intel to deliver exceptional mobile performance, all the features you need in one thin and light laptop. It's also one of the first devices to be Athena certified. Now this means it's passed a strict set of tests and criteria defined by Intel's program. Let's look at some of the criteria. Best in class connectivity with Intel Wi-Fi 6. Simply put, Wi-Fi 6 single stream speed has been raised to 1.2 gigabits a second, 20% faster than connecting through a gigabit ethernet cable. You can connect more devices together and it's more secure with WPA3. It saves battery power and works with your existing devices. With Thunderbolt 3, the fastest USB-C available. A quick charge battery. Intel's benchmark is four hours back in 30 minutes. This Spectre X360 from HP does 11 in that time, which is half of its 22 hour lifespan. Features like instant wake and voice assistant are also now a staple of an Athena device. When you're choosing a laptop, you might be looking at an Ice Lake CPU or a Comet Lake CPU. There are some similarities and some differences. They both offer the best connectivity with Thunderbolt 3 and Wi-Fi 6. So it's where they differ that'll shape your choice. Ice Lake is a 10 nanometer chip and it's built for killer graphics in thin and light devices with great battery life. This Spectre runs Iris Plus graphics, which makes the 4K OLED screen look so good. Even though it's built for entertainment, you can still play games like Fortnite and Dirt Rally 2.0 in full HD, which to be fair is impressive. Comet Lake is the workhorse. Now there's been a double digit improvement over the previous Whiskey Lake chip in everything from content creation to just how well Microsoft Office runs. Now Comet Lake is the 14 nanometer chip and can be spec'd up in a six core 12 thread option to tackle those creative compute tasks or if you do some work in the commercial sector. On the storage side, you're gonna hear the word Optane a lot more. It's Intel's way to improve what is often a bottleneck in next generation performance, which is slow storage. Intel Optane is a smart cache with embedded intelligence. It stores commonly used system, program, and media files, speeding up everything you do on your PC. The more you use it, the smarter it gets. Now this whole topic can get confusing, so here's the simple statement. Intel Optane memory with SSDs completes common tasks faster, even when there are other things running in the background. Documents and workbooks load twice as fast, games load faster. If you use creative programs like Photoshop, you are going to notice jumps in performance. SSDs with Intel Optane memory deliver the best real-world performance and are the fastest as compared to NAND SSDs. That simple. Year on year, we're seeing devices push the boundaries of what we thought was possible. Devices like this Spectre X360 from HP show that manufacturers are listening to our yelling and building really capable products that suit our needs of tomorrow with prices that we can afford today.